Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to another particle tutorial. And this is creating a warp drive style speed effect as if you were going through space or some other transition that you might have. I'll have this effect and over 125 different scripts, assets and projects you can't find anywhere else upon my Patreon. So be sure to throw a like on this video because it would really help and subscribe to the channel because that would be awesome. So we're going to start off by right clicking in the hierarchy, choose effects, choose particle system. We're just going to call this our warp drive style effect. I'm going to right click the transform and click reset because we want that just to be zeroed out. You can see my main camera is around here. We want the particles to face the main camera so we can select the rotate tool and just rotate 90 degrees so it's facing in front of our camera. We might want to just grab the move tool and just position it roughly there in the center. We can go down to the bottom and go to the renderer and click we want a stretched billboard. We want to create ourselves a particle which we want to be more sort of bright and luminescent so we can right click create material. Then once you've created your material, you can go to the legacy shaders, you can go to particles and you can go to additive. Then in your material, you can just select the default particle and you can just keep, keep that on default. You can go back to your warp drive effect, add the particle into the renderer of the shader tab. Then we can go to the top and you can look at 3D start size, tick the box and we can set the Y scale to around seven. So we get really stretched out particles. We can set the X to around 0.25 and the Z also to 0.25. So we get really thin looking particles as well. Then what we're going to do is go to the emission tab and I'm going to set this to around 125. And then we get like, we could be going into the sort of light of heaven at this point. And then from here, we can go to the shape and make sure that it stays on cone. Then you want the angle to be zero or something like that. Then you can set the radius to five Then we get the effect. You might need at any point to just shift your particle around if you so wish, and you can bring it closer or move it further away from you, your camera. If you want a different look of the effect, you can create the sense of it being so close and very speedy. You can set the start speed to around 35 and you can see we could set the start lifetime to maybe 1.5 just so that it doesn't go too much past our main camera you can adjust the radius if you want the overall particle effect to be much larger and you can also set the angle the overall angle if you don't want the particle effect to be so focused in the middle of the effect then we can close up the shape go to the color over lifetime and then if we choose the color and we just set a point in the middle at the top and select the point on the left Left and take the alpha all the way down and the point on the right we take the alpha all the way down we get a much much softer effect when we're looking to move through space and we can obviously go to the start color and we could change this to whatever we might like a nice orangey effect and you could change the scale of your particles to make them slightly bigger you could set the color between two particular colors if you wanted a little bit of variation and what you could even do is duplicate your original material you could set the emission slightly down to 100. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of just have one color and just set this to a blue. And then we can play both of the particles together and then we can get our cool style warp drive effect. And remember, you can just all these settings, pull it closer or further away from your camera and be able to set it however you might want it to be. So you will be able to get access to all the prefabs and project on my Patreon, along with 125 other scripts, assets and projects you can't find anywhere else. Come and chat to me on Discord if you want to chat. Check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and my bonus discounts on my website for all my great assets too. Thank you to all my amazing Patreon, all the fantastic subscribers and everybody who comes to watch this video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.